Hey there everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Drydocs.com and I got a hint, a tip for you. Uh, I get a lot of people asking me how to make uniform and beautiful uh, flood slots or drainage slots on their fiberglass hulls. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, it's pretty simple. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So thanks for joining me. Okay, what we have uh, behind me here is an OTW 132nd scale, type seven, uh, beautiful candidate for what we're talking about. Uh, the owner sent this to me to uh, try and get these things done. You can see where he like poked one hole and is like, no, nope, I'm done. I don't, I don't like the way this is going. I want someone else to do it for me. So um, I am gonna set this up so that Jason in my shop will be able to do it. And uh, if he can do it, any one of you can do it too, but the trick is getting the right tools in place. Now, I'm gonna show you what I've done here. Got a couple of pieces of brass, and uh, what I did is I marked out the spacing with uh, a paint pen. And uh, basically what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna double check the uh, actual size of that brass. So this brass is uh, 3 16ths of an inch square tubing and uh, the spacing in between is 1 8 square tubing. So if you grab that from your uh, hobby store or uh, online, that should get you close to what you're going to be talking about. And the setup for it, we're gonna use that piece of 1 8 in the middle, and then we're gonna use these as cross braces, like this. And uh, that's gonna create a rectangular opening uh, through which we are going to be uh, putting our rotary tool bit. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we can make happen here. I'll get this all soldered up. All right, this is uh, what I've ended up with. It's ugly, but uh, hey, it only took about five minutes to put together. So um, these are the scribed slots, and uh, you can see if we superimpose our jig over the top, it lines up perfectly. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna clamp that to the hull and uh, grab our rotary tool and uh, start cutting. And here is what you end up with if you use it uh, correctly. So these are all exactly the same size. They're exactly the same width. And uh, it's four at a time, perfectly aligned. So we're just gonna continue all the way down the boat. Okay, this is all set up and ready to go. I'm gonna try and one hand this, uh, so it may or may not work, but I wanna show you how it do it. So basically we're gonna puncture the hull, we're gonna move it across and down, and we're gonna go back and around in a circle just to make sure the whole thing is cleared out um, over and over again. and over and over again. All right, uh, as you can see, uh, Jason did a great job in getting uh, the starboard side of the boat all done. I will note, however, that uh, if you are a little aggressive with your template, you can eat out the corners and then uh, basically you lose your shape. So you really need to be uh, gentle. Just use it as a guide uh, and let the Dremel, uh, the rotary tool, do the work. As an alternative, um, what I'm actually doing for the port side uh, is I'm just using a straight piece of brass. I'm gonna show this a little closer. I've marked out the spacing for those flood slots. And all I'm gonna do is uh, put this down on the hull right here in line with the flood slots, clamp it down, and then use it as a guide to drag the rotary tool along. Um, it's not as foolproof as the other one because that was a, a, a 360 degree guide. But if you uh, do get the hang of it, this works as well. And the advantage to this is that it will also work 
for the smaller flood uh, slots on the on the upper hull right here. So you can use that as a guide. Uh, simply use a smaller bit. And the same thing up uh, in the front here for these small flood uh, grates up here. So you clamp this into place and use it as a guide and that gets a perfectly linear alignment for all of those slud, uh, flood slots. So there you go. Um, that is the, uh, the, the easier way than freehanding all of those flood slots. Um, obviously, after they're all done, you can use a file. Uh, and I've got a small rat tail file here as well. So you can use this to clean up the top and bottom edges to make a perfectly flat, uh, smooth line. Uh, and then the rat tail just to clean up the edges if you need to. Um, but I find that one eighth inch bit that works really well. So there you go, a little tip on cutting flood slots uh, in a fiberglass or plastic uh, hull. Hopefully that helps you out uh, in this monumental task. Uh, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocks.com. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll catch you next time.